New tubs, today is the day. There may be half an inch of snow on the ground, but we're not gonna let that stop us. I'm still rocking the shorts, you know how I roll. Had to throw in a light jacket today, but that's all right. These things happen. All right, so today I got my YouTube money, my Google AdSense money. And uh, with that, we want to take that money and start doing some fun videos. So to all my tool lovers out there, to everybody who started watching the channel because of the tool deals that I'm trying to find, I'm trying to learn about tools. I've reached out to Den of Tools. I've reached out to VCG Construction. I talked with Joe, the tool guy. I'm learning, I'm learning about tools. I have some good friends that are really into tools. Uh, one of those friends is Justin. Um, and I'm gonna take a quick second. I wanna talk about it again, please. I have a GoFundMe to help support his family, help take care of some expenses. Uh, his father just passed away this last week. And even if you can donate a dollar, it's truly appreciated. If nothing else, please send out thoughts, prayers, hugs, anything else you believe in. Uh, so thank you, I just wanted to put that in there again. Uh, and so, but Justin knows his tools. He's a carpenter by trade. He does like just about everything you think of, even a little plumbing, a little electrical. Uh, my other friend, Matt, does all kinds of stuff. Uh, he's an electrical engineer, I think. I don't know, he fixes like 500 ton presses and does crazy stuff that, stuff I've never even heard of before. I'm trying to take all the knowledge that I'm learning and being taught and relay it to you guys. But at the same time, there's some stuff I don't know and that's like, what are the best tools in the market? For Joe Schmo, right? Or Gary, or Mike, or Lou. Uh, yeah. Side note, shout out to Troy. Thanks for sending that awesome uh, charging base for me. That thing has come in handy more than once already. Anyways, so this is what I've decided to do. Uh, we lost a jungle gym in the windstorm we had about a month or so back, and I've gotten most of it apart. Some of it I burned off because the wood was so bad. Uh, the rest of it though, I'm taking and building to make our other jungle gym larger. And uh, my tools are on their way out. My C3 line has held up for years. Uh, I lost most of it in a flood and the battery's still hanging on, even though it was in the water. <laughs> Uh, and I have a heart drill driver uh, and I mainly bought that for 40 bucks off eBay because I picked up the desktop blower and the Carvac which uses the heart 20 volt battery and I needed one of those uh, so I have one of those too but they don't seem to do or perform as well in the spirit of that what I've decided to do I'm curious what the cheapest tools on the market are capable of. So, I'm meeting up. All right, YouTube, so I'm gonna finish this part out, but after deliberation and getting everything together, I really decided it was time to get a set of big boy tools. I figured at 40, I should probably have a set of tools that's gonna last me for a little while and actually hold up to the things I need to do. Uh, I'm starting to do some stuff around the house, wanna start building some things, and I need tools that can handle that and also perform as well. So, uh, this video has turned into trying to find tools to buy because anytime you find a deal all of a sudden it's either it's only 1.5 million batteries or it's you know non-brushless motors for the the combo set at the good deal just just watch i hope you enjoy and any input you have super greatly appreciated Stu, we're gonna go to Lowe's, we're gonna go to Home Depot, Menards, uh, where else are we going? We're going to Harbor Freight, we're even going to Dollar Tree. So I need some other regular tools too. I figure we may as well go all in on this because we're gonna paint it and everything else. The only thing I will be spending money on is a power washer. Uh, and the best deal I actually think I found at Home Depot, which I'll show you guys here. But, all right, I'm sorry if this is dragging on. I just wanted to give you a rundown on what's going on, what we're up to today, and what we're gonna be buying. So we are gonna look for the deals and we're gonna compare some of the deals. So we may hit a store and not buy anything right away. Like even Harbor Freight, we may be like, well, wait a second. If I can get the HTP, the Metabo line for you know $37 right now for the impact with battery, maybe I don't want the $37, whatever the brand's called at, at Harbor Freight, right? I'm sorry, I totally forgot their other one. I was gonna say Bauer, but that's not it. Anyways, all right, I'm wrapping this up. Here we go, we're off to get stew. Store number one, Lowe's Home Improvement. Like a Mack truck hit her butt and it was like YouTube's a pancake. Got our first sign of flex in the wild. Oh my god. I'm Barnaby. <laughs> Look at this. He was just unboxing all this stuff. Right? I'm excited. I didn't even see it. The flex 24 volt power. The five year warranty, boom. It's lifetime if you do it this year. Yeah. Four tools, two batteries, one charger. Impact driver, saw, and flashlight. 
Can I read this? Can I read this? Today a tunnel draw. There you go, YouTubes. It's here. Not out anywhere yet, but. Flex. It's what's next. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so in our search for these cheap tools, it's what's next, dude. <laughs> we're looking, I think we're gonna stick with the deals, but YouTube, this is, this is why I was looking at just going out and buying the cheapest tools we could find. Because getting into a bunch of different tools, I need a bunch of different batteries, a bunch of different chargers. So if I find a deal on something, I'm gonna to wanna to stick with that line. So I think it just works better. Impact driver is 129, and the quarter inch brushless impact is 149. Hmm. But we're looking for sets. I mean, my Craftsman did good before. I don't know if the new one's any good. The C3 line is what I liked. Lasted a while for me. All right, I'm gonna put the camera down for a minute. We're gonna do the walk around, see if we can find. Cause we got the DeWalt set for 200, just 50 bucks off. The 20 volt max. I don't think that's brushless though. I don't remember, but. Well, this one, a three tool. Why wouldn't you get this one? The brushless combo, the three tools. Instead of the two tools for 200. I know, yeah. The three tool 20 volt mat brushes cordless combo kit for 200 bucks. Yeah, that's a with really a good bag. Idea. It's a special value. Special value, but it's it's cordless. It's not what's next to. But it is cordless. <laughs> it's oh well, never mind then. How are you gonna how's how it gonna run if it's not plugged in? You got a lithium battery in there. <laughs> lithium, so much lithium. <laughs> All right, dudes, as we jumped over to the depot of home, uh, we're still gonna go back to Lowe's. Uh, there's some cobalt sets that are on crazy ridiculous clearance if I can get my hands on them. Same with some of those tool chests. Um, I have a decent craftsman one, but I'm running out of space. Although it's half the tools I could probably get rid of at this point. Anyways, uh, Stu's doing a phone interview, so uh, I'm chilling here. I'm going to check out the tools here at the depot, check out the pricing, see what kind of combo set deals we can get, and we're going to keep going from there. Store number two, the depot of home. So YouTubes, we are at the depot of home, the home of depot. Uh, I'm trying to find combo kits, but there's nothing great. We got 180 for the brushless drill driver and impact, 200 for the drill driver and impact. Uh, we got 139 for the rigid. I don't even see a combo set down in any of these. We'll go check that main aisle, Stu. Maybe that's where. 400 for the M18. And DeWalt. Oh, it's 300 for the drill driver and impact. So far, Lowe's is killing it. All right, so let's go. Let's go down the main aisle, too. Maybe it's out at the end. YouTube, this Home Depot, I never really noticed, it's kind of weird. So like, Vince at VCG Construction found this as the kit. But the kits they have are just the bits. It doesn't include that. And that kit with that was 20 bucks. But this Home Depot doesn't have any of like the display cases of deals. See, it just plants. It's some battery stuff, but nothing even has sale prices on it. It's super disappointing. We're gonna do the walk around and check some other stuff. Maybe it's over by the entrance area or something. But uh, but yeah, right now Home Depot is not not on my. Good price list. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> there we go. I found them. I don't remember which one Red was looking for, though. 
the carbide six inch general purpose demo pruning nail embedded cast iron there's a few that are actually sold out here too what's that for Stu? so if you have an anxiety attack it's not yeah. 420 anymore Stu. <laughs> give me a break store number three harbor freight train hour 24 cordless all right youtube so just for good measure we decided to come check out harbor freight so i know there's a little different they don't really sell the combo kits you gotta build them like in the hercules line so you get 20 volt or 12 volt tool any battery and any charger and then you save 25 dollars off the total so you build your own kit and today if you make a purchase on the card you get an additional 10 percent off if you sign up for the card if you sign up for the card. so Oh, 12 volt. Where's the 20? Oh, there we go. We have 20. No, I know. So it's 50, 110. I don't think they have a 4 milliamp battery, though. Oh, they have a 5 milliamp battery. But we're already, so we're at 110. So if you get one battery, you're at 175. When you get 20 volts, so you're at 150 for those three but then if you add any other tools well that's just in the Hercules line it's twenty dollars interesting on the Bauer the Hercules is supposedly the better line but they Hercules Hercules I don't see like a circular saw right or even the sawzall or this doesn't seem like as good of a deal when you really break it down <laughs> Like, you know you'll be able to find DeWalt and Ryobi stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not excited by this, YouTubes. But I, I want to bring you up to the Warrior line. <laughs> you can't even say with a straight face. So <laughs> but hey, for 20 bucks, if you need a quick drill. <laughs> this is uh, Ultimate Warrior, their um, spokesperson. Yeah. yeah. He's dead. Oh, yeah. But this seems like the type of stuff you nice to have in the kitchen. Just for a little... I think you need that for an opening. Things. Or this. This is what I need in the kitchen, dude. Oh, it's not wireless. Batteries, this doesn't even sound... 12 volts. Give me <laughs> it's a plug break. In. Give me a break. 12 volts. 12 I volts. Only deal with 20. That's for babies. <laughs> that My 7-year-old is a 12-volt tool set. <laughs> See, if that was, like, if that charged... I have a skill one this size. A skill drill. Skill. I mean, well, it says cordless, then, I mean... Oh, it, it is, so it charge. does charge. Yeah. I have one like that. It's perfect for the kitchen, like little, you know... Yeah. Hanging up pictures, little stuff like that. For 10 bucks, it's not a bad little... <laughs> Should I get that for my apartment when I hang up? Uh, oh, are we going to look for those things for the green screen? Oh, yeah, that'd be here. The hooks and the uh, rivet set. Rivets. That set works well. I've used it is a couple a times. Frog? Rivets? Rivets? Oh, man. Inside Track Club... You're, are you going to be part of the Inside Track Club? I do. I want to sign up for the Inside Track I don't like. I'd honestly buy that workbench today. Oh, there's the Pittsburgh brand, and it's not even made in Pittsburgh, guys. It's not. I don't even know where it's made. What if it was made in Pittsburgh? It'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it, though. Let's be honest. Yeah, it's from California. Oh. Well, you know what? No, it's distributed. From California, not Harbor made in. Tools in Camarillo, California. But it's made in China. Yeah. <laughs> so I want the workbench they have here for 100 bucks, which has the pegboard back and with the light, everything else. So I can join the Inside Track Club, get a discount, and I do it. But I have no room in my car because I haven't taken all that other stuff out. And we just bought all that toilet paper and paper towels, so I have zero room in the car right now. This is for anybody that likes to play COD. Call of Duty? Yep. You get your ammo can, walk around with this bad guy. See, that's why I want to stop at Dollar Tree. I want a bunch of little toolboxes type sets to do in storage. Yeah. And usually you can find like this size at the Dollar Tree. We we went to another store. I th maybe. YouTubes, we are back at the Lowe's. Uh, I want to check out. They have a pressure washer on sale. Uh, Seventy nine ninety nine down from a hundred. Something crazy. Sixteen hundred gallons per minute. I think it's like 1.5 whatever pressure gigawatts. thingamabob gig, gig, gigawatts. 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 1.21 gigawatts. 
<laughs> um, and we need some screws for Stu for his green screen, so we're gonna go do that. Uh, but we're gonna check again at the sets that they got here. So, all right, let's go see. Here it is, YouTube's. It says 99, but they'll price match their website. They're 79.99 right now. 1700 B PSI, 1.2 GPM. So Greenworks. Doesn't seem like a bad deal for 80 bucks. Or maybe I hold off on this too. <laughs> what if I get the battery powered one from Ryobi? <laughs> Although that probably is all I need. YouTube, I don't even know how long this video is at this point. 10 hours. Seriously, right? It's going to be a lot of cutting down. Thumbs down. <laughs> if, if you really hate the video, hit thumbs down twice. <laughs> all right. I may hold off on this. I'm still torn, YouTube. I don't know. I don't even know what the point of 1.2 gallon per minute is, what it even matters. Or is that just how much water it uses? Because for 50 bucks more, you get an electric one for 1800 PSI, or Harbor Freight has the one for 90, which I think is 18 or 1900 PSI. Maybe it's a whole nother video. <laughs> we'll just deal with the tools in this video. So we'll be stopping over there. All right, YouTube's. We're gonna find some rivets and hooks so we can hang up Stu's green screen. And there's something else here I wanted, but I don't remember what. So we'll keep looking. Store five dollar Dollar Tree. All right, YouTube's. I told you I'd come here. So here we are. Dude, you should put these on the edges of all your couches. <laughs> so he doesn't scratch the ends of all of them. Could just go around it. Yeah. Got some paint supplies. Fix all adhesive. Solves all your gluing, sealing, and repairing problems. Sharpening stone. I never know how to use these. Your high end saw. <laughs> yeah, it is. That would never break. Quick setting epoxy. Carabiners, PVC tape. Did you say wieners? Yes. It's strange. We're not even in the uh, food area. What is that? Hair gunk, hair gel, that's cool. Ultimate hold. Is it actually green? I don't think so. Let's try it. Duct the tape. Screwdriver set, sanding sponge. This stuff is all over the place. So expensive, bro. A dollar each. I guess someone just left their cards. Because things were expensive. Catches up. A dollar here, a dollar there, then eventually it's twenty dollars. See, they got one, two, three, four. They got six dollars in there. Three hundred eighty dollars. Oh, seven. Oh, well, they, they have, have more the stuff. The electronic spray cans. Or the duster cans. Those are always overpriced. Store six. We're here. And oh, that's not bad. Like, that was pretty good. It was yummy. Yeah. YouTube, I'm grabbing this because I wanted a step stool. And I was just complaining to Stu how you can never find them under 40. The three step lightweight step stool, 40 down to 24.88. We call it a lightweight step stool because this is actually incorrect. It could only handle 125 pounds. <laughs> so my seven years ago. Yeah. Well, this is heavy. It's lightweight, sir. It's steel construction. It's not lightweight, it's compact. It doesn't say anything about lightweight. <laughs> it's about um, 12 pounds. See, this one I'll use in the garage. The one I have in the garage, I need to put No, out this is more than 12 pounds. Instead of buying steps for the trampoline. We should exercise in the, our videos. Like Just start lifting. Like, yeah. Walk around with two of these and just... See, we'll wait. I'm going to look. I don't need it even that tall. That's the other problem. Well, look. It's still an oh, awesome deal, though. These are perfect to work out with. <laughs> lifting these up. All right, we're here for power tools. I don't know what you're doing. No, we're here for... Right, switch it to Home Depot workout. So just, you have to get your form. Now make sure your feet are straight in and you just want to get your elbows and put them close to your body. Just bring it up. <laughs> they just put different names Well, there are on only it. a few brands that make all the tools. 
I don't know all the details, but yeah. Makita. There's no good prices on this, are there? Well, it's not bad. I mean, you get the drill driver battery, two twenty nine. Two twenty nine. That Dewalt set though is still a better deal. This one. That's the Makita one. I'm saying that. Oh. That other Dewalt set we looked at. That would be nice, dude. That'd be nice for doing the eBay and everything. I know. But see, I have, I built mine. So all I need to do though is throw those wheels on it. I can do that. Oh, okay. We can wheel it around the garage. Live streaming and roaming. It's like deep too. It's right here too. Why? This is probably a demo, bro. I'll get it for my for 10 bucks. Dude, we can build you one for that much. It's not $10, it's $230. <laughs> Give me a break. Give me a break. Here's random clearance stuff. Oh yes, these two? The beanies are, th or the hats are $3.82. Oh yeah? Oh no, I like the other ones. I don't like the folds. Oh, I don't like the beanie. It never covers your ears all the way. No, I like the beanies. The beanies are cool. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. What is this? Stylo Versatile Craft Tool. Oh, it's a Dremel. It was 100, now 75. It's like open box. Should be more than that off. Do they have any beanies? No. Unless the beanies aren't on sale, just the winter hats are. No, it says beanie hat. Oh, cuffed. Give me a break. Makes me chuffed. I've got an internet fridge and that makes me chuff. I've got a garage fridge and that makes me chuff. Five uh, amp lithium. Um, is that a charger or a battery? That's a battery. It's a battery. The 1.5 amp and 4 amp That's batteries. 4 amp. So you two, we're looking. Thank you to everybody that uh, is in the Den of Tools Discord. I was posting some info, looking for some assistance. And the expandability with the Roby One is exciting to me. It's the 18 volt system. What do you get? You get the drill driver, impact, yeah. reciprocating saw, circular saw, 1.5 milliamp and 4 amp plus charger and tool bag for 300, and then. You get a free tool. And it's over 60% faster cutting. Than what? Hand? Than the competitors. <laughs> and then I get to pick one of these for free. The light or the, what is that, a cock gun? The, the six battery charger? The palm sander might come in handy. Ooh, they got a barcode on it. I, I just love barcodes. You mean QR code? Alright, it's second on my list right now. Well, it's kind of a tie. I mean, the DeWalt's nice at 200 bucks, but you just get more in this set for 100 bucks because you're going to get. What? One, two, three, four, five. You're going to get six actual tools, not including flashlights. Look at that. Alright, YouTubes. So, here's the deal I'm going to save the 100 bucks and go with the DeWalt uh, because the DeWalt is the three tool set uh, the drill driver impact and oscillating multi-tool with soft case charger and two batteries but they're two two amp batteries so for a hundred bucks more i'm also going to get my hands on a circular saw a flashlight and a four what is it milliamp four ah lithium battery it does come with a 1.5 also which is fine for a flashlight whatever but I like the idea of having that and I'm going to get another tool with it. So I'm going to be able to choose one of these to get as well. I'm probably going to end up either with a palm sander or something. Or there's a two milliamp battery I could get also to get a third battery. I probably won't need that, but we'll figure out what other tool we're going to get. I think this is it. I'll update you as soon as we're done. The stream IRL. YouTube. Broadcast live whenever you are. Stu's trying to go live on Twitch from Home Depot. And he's for the last 30 minutes he's been talking and we've been talking to his phone. He wasn't even live. <laughs> like I guess stream? Okay, watch. Alright, YouTube. So I was about to buy this. And I don't know, maybe for me it doesn't matter, but I just realized this combo kit is not brushless. I don't know if that matters in the end. But everyone says you want brushless? Here's the deal, YouTubes. I'm not buying anything. 
Uh, I did almost buy this, but from what I understand, the brushless gives you more power and longer battery life since there's no friction with the brush on the motor. So we're going to wrap this up at this. Uh, these sets are in stock. They're on sale for a few more days. I would appreciate anybody, please leave your comments down below. You know, I, I wanted to stay in my $200 budget, but like this OnePlus system for 300 bucks seemed like a great deal. So uh, obviously you can wiggle around in there. I don't want to go crazy. That's kind of why I'm not looking at like the M18 line from Milwaukee because now we're up in the four or $500 range. Um, please give me advice that you have or brands that I should look at or things I should double check before I jump into anything. So we got the Ryobi One line, uh, the DeWalt line I like, that's on sale too. Those are the brushless motors, but they only come with two two milliamp batteries. So I'd like at least one four milliamp battery. Um, I promise I won't let Stu use any of the power tools so they won't break. Oh, I will. Because <laughs> we want to use these. We want to test these out, putting this jungle gym together and everything else. So I need the drills and I need the stuff. I mean, this seems like a great deal for 300 bucks, but if the batteries don't last as long as it's not brushless, then it's not worth it in the long term of using another tool. So, all right. Please let me know down below. Please let me know your thoughts. Am I just wasting too much time into this or... You know, should I look at something more specific? Like, is the M18 line just make more sense? And, you know, I save for another week or so and get that instead? Or maybe rigid? Maybe it's just go all heart. All heart brand tools. Somebody said somewhere that those are made in the same factory as Ryobi. Just the batteries aren't interchangeable. I don't know. I could, that could be wrong, too. But, all right. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. I thank you all for the amazing help that I hope you can provide me. Stay cheap, my friends. You